learning outcomes after studying this module you shall be able to know that mendelian principles of heredity are not universal learn the deviations from mendelian genetics and gene transfer identify some examples from everyday life which do not obey mendelism introduction most traits are under the control of more than two genes such traits are called complex traits and do not follow mendelian pattern of inheritance genes influencing such traits are not independently assorted and are influenced by external factors while mendel's experiments showed how traits are transferred over generations further investigation revealed that there were exceptions and his principles had limitations mendel did not report any overlap of characters as the traits he has considered by chance were controlled by non linked genes that were controlled by alleles on different chromosomes or were located far off on the same chromosome gene interaction is the influence of alleles and non alleles on the normal phenotypic expression of genes gene interactions can lead to digression in phenotypic expression from that of the expected regular mendelian ratios that is 3 is to 1 for mono hybrid cross and 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 for a di hybrid cross it may be inter allelic or intragenic or non allelic or intergenic in the intragenic interaction the two alleles present on the same gene locus on the two homologous chromosomes of a gene interact to produce a phenotypic expression that is different from typical dominant recessive phenotype for example incomplete dominance codominance multiple alleles etc in intergenic or non allelic interaction two or more independent genes present on the same or different chromosomes interact to produce a different expression for example duplicate genes complementary genes supplementary genes lethal genes epistasis inhibitory genes etc incomplete dominance incomplete dominance is an intermediate mode of inheritance where one allele for a specific trait is not completely dominant over the other as a result of this incomplete interaction a combined phenotype is produced in cross pollination experiments between pure breeding red and white snapdragon or mirabilis jalapa plants the resulting offspring were pink the dominant allele that produces the red color does not completely dominate over the recessive allele which is responsible for the production of white color in the second filial generation half of the resultant plants have pink flowers while one fourth are red and another one fourth are white phenotypic ratio for the mono hybrid cross showing incomplete dominance is 1 is to 2 is to 1 codominance codominance is another mode of interaction between two alleles of a gene codominance occurs when products from both alleles are expressed and none of the two overpowers the other in the phenotype this also means that the genotype is heterozygous the phenotypic ratios remain the same as that of incomplete dominance however the difference lies in simultaneous expression 
of both genes. A very common example of codominance in human population is observed in the ABO blood group system. The capital I raised to the power A and capital I raised to power B alleles are codominant in producing the AB blood group phenotype in which both A negative and B negative type antigens are produced. Another example is the camellia flower that has both pink and white pigment genes which are codominant and hence both are expressed simultaneously. The phenotypic ratio here is 1 is to 2 is to 1. Complementary genes. The complementary interaction of genes involves two dominant non inter allelic genes where each gene imparts its own effect. However, when both genes are expressed together, their products interact and a new trait is developed due to complementation of product of one gene by the product of another gene. Each genotypic class may not always result in the unique phenotype, but due to their interactions, two different phenotypes are observed instead of the expected four. Two or more genotypic classes may display an identical phenotype. A classic example of the complementary gene interactions can be observed in pure breeding varieties of flowered sweet pea plants falling into different genotypic classes that is capital C, capital C, small p, small p and small c, small c, capital P, capital P are crossed. Mendelian dihybrid phenotypic ratio of 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 is now changed to a new ratio that is 9 is to 7. Epistasis. Epistasis is another deviation from Mendelian principles of genetics. In epistasis, the products of one gene are influenced or regulated by one or several other genes which are commonly called modifier genes. The gene whose phenotype is expressed is called epistatic while the phenotype altered or suppressed is called hypostatic gene. Epistasis is different from dominance which is an interaction between alleles at the same gene locus. Epistasis is often studied in relation to the quantitative trait loci that is QTL and polygenic inheritance. Epistasis is classified into dominant epistasis and recessive epistasis. In dominant epistasis, a capital F2 cross yields a typical 12 is to 3 is to 1 ratio. Of the two genes controlling the phenotype, one that is termed the epistatic gene must be present in homozygous recessive condition before the second genes which is the hypostatic gene. Alleles will be expressed in the phenotype. For example, in squash, one gene is epistatic over the other in the dominant condition. In recessive epistasis, the phenotypic ratio is 9 is to 3 is to 4. The homozygous recessive allele for a gene acting as the epistatic gene masks the expression of the dominant allele. A classic example can be studied in Labrador retrievers where two genes are involved in coat color determination. One set of alleles codes for the quantity of melanin produced 
while another codes for melanin deposition. Still another gene locus determines whether melanin will be produced at all. Lack of any produces an albino that is recessive. Gene capital B determines whether black that is capital B negative or brown that is small b small b pigment is produced. Gene capital E determines if the pigment is deposited in hair. Golden retrievers that is small e small e make either black that is capital B negative or brown that is small b small b pigment but not in fur. Since the recessive allele is epistatic to other genes when homozygous it is called recessive epistasis. Duplicate gene interaction. In duplicate gene interactions two different genes determine the same or nearly same phenotype. The resultant cumulative effect leads to modification of Mendelian 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 ratio to a 15 is to 1 ratio. For example, the capsules of shepherd's purse that is capsella species occurs in two different shapes that is triangular and top shaped. When a plant with triangular capsule is crossed with one having top shaped capsule, in F1 only the triangular character appears. In F1 offspring by self crossing produced F2 generation with triangular and top shaped capsules in the ratio of 15 is to 1. Two independently segregating dominant genes that is capital A and capital B have been found to influence the shape of the capsule in the same way. All genotypes having dominant alleles of both or either of these genes that is A and B would produce plants with triangular shaped capsules. Only those with the genotype small a small a small b small b would produce plants with top shaped capsules. Now to summarize what we have already learnt, the Mendelian principles of heredity are not universal and have exceptions in nature. Most traits are under the control of more than two genes and are called complex traits and do not follow Mendelian pattern of inheritance. Incomplete dominance, co-dominance deviate from normal monohybrid cross ratio of 3 is to 1 and result in a 1 is to 2 is to 1 genotypic ratio. Gene interactions in the form of epistasis wherein the products of one gene are influenced or regulated by one or several other genes which are commonly called modifier genes. These genes may not share the same loci. The gene whose phenotype is expressed is called epistatic while the phenotype altered or suppressed is called hypostatic. Genes are in regulation with the environmental factors as well as under the influence of other gene products as well. This complex interactions leads to various phenotypic variations.